The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We posted a chart of the uh, German DAX and then also the FTSE. You can see they've had explosive moves to the upside uh, over there, just like we've had here in our NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ has been, uh, you know, leading the pack, uh, you know, all the way. I think what we need to do, uh, we have our good friend Jim Bartolone is going to be our guest uh, in the next couple of weeks here. But if you remember here, he gave us a chart here on Sunday, and he was looking at the possibility of the NASDAQ in the future is reaching 15,696. And the high today was 15,699. So we won't be having him on the show if he misses it by that far. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We have accuracy to be our, ga our gauge here. And three points in the NASDAQ, $60 in a move that started in 1974 is just doesn't cut it. He's got to be within at least one point and possibly two, but three is out of the ballpark. We don't believe it. Now, looking at that, uh, just looking at it from a standpoint of looking at the AI program, you'll notice here that it was due to make a high up there or somewhere in that area, but whether that's going to mean anything or not, you know, I don't really know, but all I do is just try to do the best I can. We're going to have to review a couple of patterns here. I'm getting a lot of flack because we're missing a lot of trades, and there's not much I can do about it. That cattle trade, let me get this up here. That's for one. You'll see here that we were trying to sell it right up there. We missed that darn thing by about 60 points. It's had the big breakdown. Uh, we've broken down, you know, well over uh, $2,000, and we're waiting to sell it back. So we, we certainly missed that one. And which was a tough one to look at. So uh, we'll, the others will come, and we'll we'll be able to get them, but they're just not going to happen all the way. I'll go through another one here in just a minute, because there's several. But what here's one that we did get right. Let's get this up here because we're we just covered the uh, the short crude oil. If you remember, we were selling that 61% retracement uh, last uh, I think it was last Friday, I believe there at 69.39. We had our stop at break even. We finally got the big breakdown today. We were going to try to cover it at the 6670 level which was the 382 but it, what i tried to do is to uh you know i gotta book some profits for the folks so what i did was i tried to add in what the ai was going to be looking at today and i said we should be covering pretty much here at the market we were at 6773 here because we were within about a half hour of what should start a uh, relatively you know strong rally for the rest of the day and i just didn't want to give up uh, any more uh, profits than uh, than what we've already looked at. And so that's what I was doing when I was uh, watching that. If we take a look at this, you'll see here I updated it. Uh, it's, I know it's trading above 6,800 now, but uh, we've uh, we've already started that rally. So uh, that, that trade is finished, and we'll look at it again in another couple of days when we got something going on. Um, that's about it. But we have a couple others that are really important, folks. Um, you know, if I were teaching a class on this stuff, uh, which I do occasionally, not very often. But if you take a look here, we were looking, if you remember, we were looking at December corn here, the fact that it was uh, at major support there at that uh, 630 level, uh, right on the money there, and it broke down badly, folks. Uh, you'll see here we got all the way down here to uh, 623 today. I wanted to give you show you that. But the one that's the most interesting, and if I had to, you know, this, this is how I really got started doing this whole business of cycles and everything else. This is the one that we're really watching today very, very closely. Here is the uh, Mr. Z might like this because this is comp compiles all the stuff that I look at.
You'll notice the three drive to a top pattern, a double top up there in May. Okay, then we had the big rally up 78% level. Then you'll see down into August, we came right down to that 61% retracement there at uh, 1307. Then we rallied up to 1377. And today we've taken out the lows of the 786 down there, which were 1277. We got down as low as 1272. But what's interesting here is if you look at the low that we made back in March and the low that we made in June, that was 53 trading days, that comes in today. So we should be making a lower low today, which we did. We got down to uh, 1272. Uh, so that's a possibility that this is a good pattern in here. Now, right now, the trade is setting with a small loss, but uh, you know it still may, may or may not work. But this is everything that you ask for uh, in a trade. The only thing that is negative about this whole cycle stuff is if you'll look at the high there on July 19th, my, my sainted sister's birthday, Carla, is born on July 19th. That was left translation. You see the low from the 14th up into that 19th, 14th of June up to the 19th of uh, July, it crested before the mid crest. That means it's a bearish, which it should be because we're coming down right now. And so we've been bearish grains for quite some time. This is the first time that we're actually looking for a potential for being a buy. It's not working today uh, yet. And, and, and of course, we're going to lose. It's going to be a very, very small amount. But that is a that is an absolute perfect setup if you're looking at cycles. Now, here's, here's, where, I, here's where I lost all my money in 1974, in the summer of 70. I would get a signal like this uh, in the grains, and it would be a beauty. It would go down and hit exactly 1272, and it would rally like bejesus for about three days. I mean, really, really strong. And then, and then it would be down for 12 days. And my problem was once it went below that cycle low, not knowing what the heck I was doing with money management or anything else. I'm just a young whippersnapper thinking I knew everything, and I was to gain an education that I didn't want to pay for, which was a considerable amount. But once we went below that, it just kept going lower and lower and lower. That's why you have to be able to decide, define what your risk is if you're looking at these things. So that's the important thing of uh, what we're watching here uh, as we as we look through some of these things. Now, I, I am not sure. Uh, of course, no one is sure. But all I know is when you listen to the news and you see what's going on in the markets, what we're seeing here, folks, is a similar top that what we had in 2008 and also in the dot-com bubble. Uh, this is not is not the same as the dot-com bubble because this is only being done with about 25 or 30 stocks, folks. I hope you realize that. There's a lot of stocks up there that are not making new highs, and they're not going straight up like the FANG stocks and all the others that are going up. So just uh, remind yourself of that when you're looking at these. It's a market of stocks, not a stock market. So pay close attention to that. Our guest today is going to be Shane Smolian. He'll be on the wolftrader.com. And we'll have him on at the half hour uh, next week uh, on Tuesday. We are going to have a special report here, a uh, special guest, Mr. Joe DiNapoli, the Fibonacci King from uh, Coastal down in the, the southern Florida will be our guest. And we are going to be live. I'm going to put the video up. And we're going to, Joe and I are both going to be on video. We might even do the whole hour together, just as we've been friends for so long. I taught Joe what Fibonacci was in 1971, right after John Hill had taught it to me in 1970. And he made a career out of it. He sold proportional dividers for years. And he had a, 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 a I forget what it was that he used to sell. He, he'll probably remember it. I can't remember, but it was a, a platform for for trading that was uh, very, very possible or very, very profitable. We, we're we almost exactly the same age and we've been around for uh, a very long time and he's a super stand-up guy and he's a lot of fun. So that'll be a good thing to look at. I don't know how the videos work on these darn things. So I guess you have to do it through Skype and I'm not, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try to turn that thing on. Maybe it would be, uh, maybe I could do that. I don't know, where is the video at? Let me see if this will work here. See if the video will work. I don't know. Is, is it, does the video work or not? I got I showed the video up here. I, I don't know. I've never done that before. Hey, is it working? Is the video working? Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> okay, that's enough. 
that's enough. That's enough of Tom Cruise for today. Hold on just a second here. Got to turn that thing off. Otherwise, I'll probably do something I'll regret uh, today. So let's turn it off. Okay. At least we know we can do it. I guess I could do that every day if I wanted to, but frankly, I don't want to do that. All right, let's move on here. 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, someone asked me to take a look at the Chinese ETF, uh, 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 what do you call it, Chinese market ETF called FXI. Uh, Basil had a really nice description of it uh, on his program, and one of the people asked me if I would look at it and uh, basically put it up here. I had to agree with everything that he said but uh, because I heard part of it. But it was a beautiful ABCD uh, up in the high there at uh, 2021, back there in February. We had an ABCD down that finished just about spot on about seven or eight days ago. Now we're having a bounce back rally. The $64 question, is it going to be a 382 rally like we got in May or June, or is it going to be a major bottom? And, you know, it's uh, you could throw it, you can roll your dice, whatever you want to look at it, but that's it. The main thing that I didn't put in here that's really important, and this is where you have to defy human nature and do the work yourself. If you will look at the time frame between July and January, of July of 2020 and January of 2021, you can see an absolute perfect A, B, C, D pattern there. It, it bottoms in September. Drive one was in July. We rally up to the 78% level in October, right within one half of a penny. And then we pull down to point C, and then we go up to point D up there at 54. It was a perfect three drive to a top. Uh, a, B, C, D, everything that you could possibly ask for, and that's what you're looking for. Folks, we're seeing the exact same thing here in, on the upside-down version in soybeans, but this one doesn't look like it's going to work. So you just got to, you know, you pay your money and take your choice and move on to the next one. That's basically all you can do. Right now, we're out a very small amount, but, you know, the most we're risking on this is $250. Right now, it's out about 40 bucks. But we're going to find out whether it's going to be working by the end of the day today because this does has no time left. 
uh, the time is set up perfectly. And if it works fine, if it doesn't, you move on and you find something else. That's the bottom line of uh, what we're looking at. Um, I did well. The EMMs having big gap ups. Remember, folks, though those ETFs are pretty tough because uh, I think uh, Mr. Buffett used to call them weapons of mass destruction at one time, but now I guess he loves them. But uh, who knows? Anyway, uh, it's, they're very thin out there on some of those, and gaps can happen, especially when you have a big move up like we've had here in a uh, – you're saying it broke a 10-year range? Wow, I didn't believe that. I, uh, let me check. Let me take a quick look at that. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something, but I didn't believe that the ETF would uh, do that. Give me one second here to take a look at this, folks, because I do have that in the uh, – in the chart thing because I've looked at it before because that's the emerging market and it's a big one. Let's get this daily up and we'll see where we are here. Oh, come on now, boys. It ain't doing that much. Just a second here. Hold on. Let's get this out of the way here and take a quick look at it. All right. Oh, yeah, there's a nice one. Okay, well, let, let, let's just let's just do it let, for kicks and giggles. Let's just do this together because I know you folks want to learn something. And so do I. There's what we were looking at. If we take a, take just a, a little bit of a ABCD structure, which we do like here, let's get this up here so we can see it one second. There we go. There's your AB, there's your ABCD leg. Wow. I guess you could say that ABCD works on the EM because you'll look here. There you go. We went right down to it, 49. Now we're trading at 53. Okay, the $64 question is, we've had a heck of a good rally here. Now, is this this is not breaking out of any 10-year high range or anything. What do you I don't understand what you mean by that. That's just a downtrend. You know, we're having lower tops and lower bottoms. This is a bear market. You want to look for a retracement to sell it, and if you drew the drew the number in, uh, we're almost at the 61% retracement there at uh, 5355 and we're trading at uh, 5320. So uh, that's it. Let's take a look at what we're going to be looking at. Uh, okay, the, the 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 NQ pattern is 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 set up to 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 go lower, folks. That's a big ABCD. I posted that that Bart looked at, and it's got all things that are saying it's going to be that way. But you know they can go higher, and you got that's what this is all about. It's about it's about risk control. It's nothing else that you can do. It's just risk control. That's the whole thing of uh, what you're watching. So pay very, very close attention to that. It's, uh, that's what makes the markets move. And uh, if you make a mistake of thinking how much money you're going to make on something versus how much you might lose, that's where you run into trouble. So focus on how much money you're going to lose. That's the main thing. And the rest of it, you know, will fall into place and you'll be, uh, you'll be okay. Just look at the bond market, what they've done to that, folks. I mean, people that got bullish on that stuff up there at 67, you know, it's broken down sharply and it continues to go lower. And, uh, you know, it just, uh, well, has to, given the fact that, uh, you know, the Fed's out there borrowing everything it can get its hands on and people are going to have to pay up for it and want higher interest rates, i.e. lower bond prices. So not a big mystery uh, with that one here uh, as we're looking at it. Uh, today. The main one I'm, of course, focusing on here was the soybeans because it is a perfect pattern. It's not it 99% chance it's not going to work today, but you still have to do it because you don't know which ones are work are going to work and which ones aren't. And uh, I have no qualms about that one. If I lose, I just, uh, you know, just figure out the next trade. And that's what I'm looking at. The problem that some people ask me is how do I miss some of these trades by you know by, by a heartbeat? I can't do anything more than that, folks. I have to get as close to these numbers as I can. The cattle we missed by a heartbeat. Uh, we missed a couple others that were you know spot on. Uh, the gold we missed uh, by a little bit uh, the other day, and uh, so that's the way it is. But uh, you just got to shake it off and move on. But this this EEM chart that's bearish. There's no other way to look at it. I mean, I don't know. I guess I misinterpreted. Someone was talking about the NASDAQ of what we're looking at. I can see here. Oh, this is an interesting one on the weekly. Hold on just a second here. Yeah, see, this is a this is an interesting chart on the weekly. This is a that, that's a very good point here. Let's let's look at this here on the weekly basis, because uh, this has actually got a beautiful ABCD here. Wow, this is a, I don't trade these ETFs, but this might mean something I don't know. But there's your here's your weekly chart on the ETF. 
You'll notice here down there at that 49 level when we you, you saw that on the daily. You've already seen that, but that's what it was on the weekly at 49.50. We're now trading at 53.21 with two big move up days. I'm oh, up weeks. Two weeks in a row, we've had really strong movement. So that's important. Going below 49 and a half now is really bearish. So uh, that's what uh, that's what it's look right now. It doesn't look bearish at all. It uh, looks like we're going to hit that 53.55 without any trouble. And then we'll find out, you know, whether we uh, whether we do something from that level or not. So. Those are a couple of the things that we're keeping a uh, close eye on here this morning. All right. Uh, we've got one other question that someone asked. I think it was about, hold it just a second. I've got it up here. It's about this uh, this U.S. dollar. I want to give it up here because we are, we're down here. We're getting ready to come down. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, the key level we hit 92.40 the other day. We get below that, folks. We're going to move down to the ABCD down there at 92.20, and I think we will do that. That looks like that. This is where we want to go. Is a little bit lower. We've got that three drive to a top pattern, and anything below 9200 would really send the uh, euro, you know, into the stratosphere. We've been long that euro up until yesterday. Stay tuned for Shane Smolian, folks. WolfTrader.com. That 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 that. that. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're back and we're talking with Shane Smolian, wolftrader.com. How are you, my friend? Is this Duke and Duke? This is it, baby. This is Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What do you have for us today, young man? What's on the menu? Well, uh, we have a few different things to talk about today. I'm going to take a little bit of a different tack and get look at a, a bigger term picture. And of course, we will talk about the Fed too. So um, real quick, a uh, disclaimer, just to, to, to remind everybody a warning about using fragments that this stuff is updated daily that I get that I give. So what you see this week might be different next week. So I just want everybody to just to keep that in mind that this isn't a static forecast. It does change depending on what's going on in the day. And of course, what's going on with the Fed. Uh, so we're going to talk about the Fed internals right now. And this is a really big indicator that I look at and it, and it tracks on a weekly time frame. Um, it's very important because it, it allows us to tell what's going to happen in the market based upon what the Fed is doing. Now, this is a chart going back to 2011, 2012. I've showed this a few times, but it is important to keep to note this, that um, these flows here are the Fed in the yellow. OK, and then the white chart is the S&P. You can see here when the Fed starts to turn turn the the internals down the market follows and and a lot of times there's there's a lag here so because because this is a week this can be a weekly time frame in this case in 2011 there was a one month flag it actually tried to it actually tried to go back up and do a second high before it collapsed in the summer and then there was a one and a half month lag here uh, in April of 2012 and uh, eventually the markets did come down to meet this so when we're looking at these flows, sometimes there are divergences to develop and it can take a while to show up. Now, this is the actual current chart of the Fed internals versus the S&P on a weekly time frame. And so uh, this is a big deal because right now we are deflecting lower and it's a very sharp deflection. And, and I'm going to show you in a minute each time we've deflected lower in the past, it does show up in the market uh, each time. There might be a lag, but it will show up uh, according to what has happened in the past. So this is important so i'm going to show you like with some arrows here this is what happened here back in 2017 this was 2018 this was the 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 taper tantrum here uh, when powell first comes in there was a six month lag here from the time that the internals started to drop until we saw this eventual stall in the market here uh, and then when we go over to during covid when they pulled back there was actually a three month lag here before the market started to st stalled out in this case. So we're about two months into this now, but this one is a much sharper decline. Uh, the only thing that might be blunting this is there are a lot of central banks acting in concert with the Fed. I do talk about this in the newsletter. The, uh, the IMF just released $650 billion of SDRs. And so even in the financial crisis of 2008, they only released about $283 billion. So there's other factors there, but I think this is still the main show to watch. You can see on the daily time frame here, there is a significant drop off. In other words, the Fed has already started their taper. And so I think it's just a matter of time before the markets uh, follow. I, d I don't think this this is unavoidable. Uh, if the Fed continues on this path, the markets will correct uh, and, or they'll at least go into a stall. And usually that stall lasts for a couple of months. So I think we're getting to the point here where it's getting a little bit overextended. Now we do have the double optimized lunar cycle that we track for the S&P 500. This has really become a go-to indicator for us. These are the actual uh, signals that were posted in the newsletters. These are actual posted uh, signals. Uh, these green arrows here are the double optimized lunar, and it has been very good across multiple symbols, multiple asset classes, not just the S&P. This has become a very, very solid symbol because we've taken the Astro to another level by pro providing the second optimization that looks forward into the future. Because uh, most Astro services just look into the past and assume that that's going to happen into the future. But I've taken it another step here. So uh, this did go into this sell on 830. Uh, and that and the market did turn on Q with that again, too. So I just wanted to point this out that this is available and it's it's performing very well. It's not just the S&P that's performing well with this. Now, there are some fundamental concerns that I want to talk about. And I'm going to take a a change of tack here. Larry, I never really talked negative about the markets because I've seen what the Fed is doing, but I see the Fed is pulling back and we're starting to see some fundamentals now that are very concerning. The, the Michigan consumer sentiment came in yesterday at 
Uh, you can see here on the graph, the letter A here, this goes all the way back to 2011, 2012. We are at levels now below that. Uh, so we've matched levels below the 2011, 2012. And there are other indicators suggesting that the world economy is slowing down. Uh, and so this is a concern because when you put this together with what's going on with the Fed, I think you have a recipe here for something uh, that could be that could be dangerous in the in the S&P. Uh, we look at the jobs data this morning. The private payrolls went up by just 374,000, and the the estimate is is was supposed to be 600,000. And tomorrow we have the non-farm payrolls coming in, and the Fed in the Jackson Hole speech made a very uh, made a very clear point to say that their taper is tied to the jobs data. So we will see tomorrow uh, if the jobs data starts to come in weak, uh, then I think there there is definitely a sign here that the economy is is slowing down. And I have some more indicators in, in the newsletter, uh, but there's just across the board we're seeing a slowing down. And if the jobs come in weak, that's not that's not going to be good. So. That, that's a fundamental concern. And I haven't really had that concern for a while, not even during COVID because I saw what the Fed was doing, but the Fed's kind of not, they're, they're, they're pulling back here. So I'm, I'm, I get concerned when I, when I see these things. So this brings us to our next topic here, which is dealing with negative divergences. So I post charts each month uh, in the newsletters. I post a high, what I call a high level chart and it's a chart that looks at maybe 10 years, 15 years. And I, I created an indicator called the, the price normalized MACD. And the reason I did this is that uh, when you have price swings that double and triple, you can't use the MACD to compare support and resistance levels. So what I did was I normalized the MACD uh, to, to allow us to see price swings across large levels. In other words, it's kind of like a stochastic but not really because it can go, it, it can still go above, there's no bounded region from zero to 100. The point is that this is important because it, you can get an equal comparison now for commodities that have doubled and tripled in price. You can actually see support and resistance on them and you can actually find divergences on the chart. So this is really important because I'm starting to see signs here that um, we're, we're reaching some type of a peak here with the inflation of the Fed now, I know we've got that stimulus package on on tap, and that's that's coming up in, in October, and that should should be good for the economy. But um, what I'm looking at here on these charts is, is, is a lot more bearish. So, uh, again, this is the first time that I'm actually taking a more bearish stance on this. And I'm going to talk more about this on Saturday. I'm going to do a, a, a webinar about this. But uh, this is the U.S. daily dollar. So let me just show you what we have here. So the letter A and B here, this is the dollar since 2014. You can see that it's been relatively pushing higher. We had the pullback during COVID. But if you look down here at the bottom, uh, this is the normalized price adjusted MACD. So it's normalized for the price. So, so if the price doubles, it won't double with it. Hey, we're going to take a little break, folks. Sure. Shane Smoley and WolfTrader.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey, we're back, folks. We're talking with the wolf trader himself, Shane Smolian. Do you want to continue, young man? Sure. Uh, so we were talking about the dollar. So the dollar is making this negative divergence. So some people might say, well, you know, that's probably good for commodities because, you know, a falling dollar would cause commodities to rise. But that only that's only true to a point. Let me just go through some other commodities. In fact, when I went through these charts, Larry, I, I couldn't find one positive chart. Uh, and this this is very concerning. This is gasoline. Now, you can see this negative diversion starts forming all the way back in 2011 here, uh, but th this is not a good sign. I mean, when, you, when, you're, when you're pushing higher here and, and you still have this divergence coming down like this, um, that, that's not good. And these divergences eventually will correct at some point. Now, it may not happen next week. It may not happen next month. But, you know, on a 10-year scale, this is not mm -hmm. a positive chart, okay, if, you, if you're looking at this. And, and we did see positive divergences at COVID lows, but we don't see that now. The next chart here is gold. Same thing. Gold has a negative divergence forming here. Uh, this goes all the way back. And again, this is a, this is a 10-year chart, guys. This is not a monthly chart, but this goes all the way back here. You can see that gold um, is really has been running kind of flat here, maybe a little bit higher, but yet this is still pushing lower. That's a negative divergence. These are all deflationary trends, Larry. And and we had the big reflation here by the Fed, and this is still in a negative divergence, even after what the Fed did. Now, the next two charts might surprise you because this is crypto, but take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is in a negative divergence here. Uh, if you go back uh, to, to May, you can see that this normalized price adjusted MACD, uh, again, this is a normalized MACD that adjusts for price spikes. So we can actually see now the divergences when we get these wild swings when something doubles. This is in a negative divergence now. Uh, and, and it gets worse with Ethereum. Ethereum is going to be the next slide here. Ethereum, we have. Um, a negative divergence going all the way back to 2018. Uh, you can see here that this uh, this starts in 2018. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the the chart, the price chart here. Uh, Ethereum is ro rolling up, yet we have a negative divergence going down here. And on top of that, we have a second negative divergence forming here on Ethereum too. So, pretty much every chart I load here uh, is not is not looking too hot. Now, Larry, I know you're going to like this one. Uh, this is going to be the 10-year bond, and this one goes all the way back to 2009. Uh, we are in a strong negative divergence on the 10-year bond. Uh, now, this is a big chart, guys. This is going back to, uh, 12 or 13 years, uh, but you can clearly see the pronounced uh, divergence here. The price is, is heading higher uh, with the Fed, uh, and this is heading lower. 
here. And so we know the Fed owns assets. We know the Fed buys bonds. So it's going to be tougher for this one to come down, uh, particularly because the Fed never loses money on any of their operations. Even the, the, the retail, the TALF that they did, they never lost money. So this one's going to be a little tougher to come down. But just just to note that the divergences are here. I mean, they're, they're, they're clear and present. Um, we look at the S&P. This is the dollar juice. This is an indicator that I have that has been tracking the S&P beautifully here. You can see going back here uh, from March all the way here in, in, in April, uh, going into May. It's just been a beautiful indicator to track the S&P. This has been in this negative divergence since July also. This has nothing to do with the Fed juice, but uh, here's another one here that's showing up, and this is on a shorter time frame. Um, the next chart here is dealing with S&P, but it's dealing with just regular RSI. Regular RSI divergences do show up. Uh, if we go back here on this S&P, if we go back to, this is like uh, May, April, uh, on that decline in May, you can see the S&P was rising and the RSI was falling here on the chart, uh, the letter A and B here. So S&P was rising, RSI was falling, we got a correction. Uh, the, the sensitive level right now for this is about 77% on the S&P. So you can see every time it hits that line, that's the we call it the best RSI. That's the level that it reverses. So C, it hits that, reverses. But D here, you can see there was a negative divergence forming here. Uh, S&P goes up and then falls here. And we cur we're currently in a negative divergence again on the S&P. Um, so there's plenty of setups here for the downside. The question is, will the S&P uh, revert in, in the near term? I talked about September in the newsletter. It's a relatively quiet astrological month, but there are some negative cycles coming in. And towards the end of the month, I think things get a lot more interesting for the S&P. Uh, but it's been very stubborn and, and it's pushed higher. But I'm just pointing out that there are a lot of cards set up on this or a lot of dominoes set up to fall down if this thing does want to start uh, moving to the downside. So uh, we also have uh, we also combine the Fed use with the double lunar cycle, too. So these are a few charts that uh, I posted uh, actually last week in the Money Show. Um, this this is a chart of the double lunar cycle here on the bottom. This is copper, uh, but you can see that the double lunar cycle has been modeling what's going on with the markets very well. Again, I showed you the S&P before, but this is copper, and you can see the letter A matches A, B is a top, B is a top, C is a low, C is a low, D is a top, D is a top, etc. So this has really been a very very strong addition for us to the service. Now, the thing I talked about was combining these two signals together. When you get a Fed you signal change and it's near a cycle low, you have a much stronger chance of a run. So this is copper here and the red is uh, this letter A here. This is when the Fed use goes into a buy and this is when the cycle goes into a buy. The cycle low, it's within about a day or two and you get this nice run up here to the next cycle high and then you get this Fed use sell here. And if they occur together, then it tends to have bigger runs, and that's what we've been seeing. And these are actual posted signals. This was actually what was posted to subscribers. Uh, all of these charts are posted and stamped on, on Twitter. We go down here to the letter C. You can see here we're coming into a cycle low. The Fed use goes into a buy, and we get another spike up here in the market. So uh, here's another one here. This was just a, a, a recent move in, in copper, but you got a, a high here on the letter B on the Fed use, and then Fed just goes into a cell, and then the double lunar cycle goes into a cell here, and then we get a move. So the idea is that when you get these alignments, uh, you get a, a higher probability that the markets will turn and go into your favor. This was Bitcoin. This was the Fed juice here coming into a buy at the letter A down here in, in, in late July, and then the cycle low comes in uh, here, and then within a, a day, it makes a nice run up here to 811, 819, and then 823. The Fed juice comes into the cell, and we're into the cycle high also here. So, uh, this is this is this was just a little bit of an excerpt of what I talked about uh, about combining these two. But it's very powerful when you combine uh, different indicators together that that are independent. So the as the cycle is different than the Fed juice, and when you combine those, you you can tend to get uh, better outcomes. And there are cases where you can overlap these cycles too. Um, this is an example of Tesla. Uh, we take, we can also take the, the double lunar cycle with a much shorter term cycle here. And when they line up and they're within a couple of days of each other's low here, you can see, uh, that that can tend to mark lows on these markets too. And then you can get bigger runs there. So this is something that we put on the, the stock ETF newsletter. Now we actually, we actually have 
double lunar cycles and we have this short term cycle. So visually what this does is this gives you this gives you a representation. When you look at the chart, you can see what's going on with the Fed use here with the red arrows. But then you can look down here and you can see, hey, what's the double what's the lunar cycle doing? What is the four to six day cycle doing? And you can start to line these up to get a better idea of what's going on. So you get the best of both worlds. Wow, this is great. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with thewolftrader.com in just a few minutes. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Shane Smalley and the Wolf Trader. Uh, Shane, we've had a question from two of our listeners, same question, so we can answer it in one question. Sure. And that is, what do you see unfolding here between now and uh, Labor Day in the markets? Now and Labor Day, well, the... Optimized Bradley's falling till about 9.6. Uh, typically, the markets can hover around a holiday. Uh, but the, the big picture, guys, with the Fed, what I see going on with those internals, and again, just as a disclaimer here, all of my information is directly from the U.S. Federal Reserve, and all of these signals are posted and timestamped on Twitter. They may, there may not be Traders Digest anymore, but there is Twitter, and all of these are legitimate signals posted exactly as they were given to subscribers. Uh, so that's that's my, my, think about, my thing about that. I think Later in September is probably the bigger issue. Mm -hmm. Now, getting 
Real quick back to this chart on Tesla, I just want to show you an example of how you could put this together. We knew that the Fed use was in a sell here on 830. Monday was the strongest day of the week for Tesla. So you can see here that it goes up on Monday. So you're in a sell. Monday's the strongest day. You're at a high here on the double lunar and on the 40 to 6 day cycle. So just give you an example of a sample trade that, that we did on this. We had a 765 by 770 bear call spread opened up on this trade because we're lining up all of these uh, alignments to give us the best opportunities. So that's still about $30 away uh, with just a couple days left. But that's an example of how you can line all of these up and then put your put the odds in your favor uh, to get a move. And you get a little bit of a cushion here with, with, with that spread. You get about a 30-point cushion there to deal with. So that's just an example of how you can line those things up. But uh, it really, really helps us see what's going on. It gives us vision of the market and vision in terms of what's going on. Um, if anybody wants to reach me, uh, you can reach me at shane at wolftraderfutures.com or www.wolftraderfutures.com uh, or www.fedjuice.com. I do have a Twitter feed, a uh, free Twitter feed, which is at wolftraderfut1. So, uh, so go there and sign up. But you'll get information, daily updates, you know, updates of seminars, webinars. I post charts. It's just a good way to keep touch if you, you want to keep contact. The question that I have, how many clones are there of you to do all this stuff? <laughs> just one. See you, see you tomorrow, folks. May God bless. Thank you, Lord.